Oh, good. I can't host anymore. It's good. Somebody else is hosting. Me? Go out and come back in. Sure can, hear you. can you guys hear me now? Hello? I can hear you. Yes, Donna. You can hear me? Okay. Can you hear me, Jill? Jill cannot. Hi, Donna. Hang on. Hang on. I'm working. Why? Why is this? Why is this really okay, you're going to have to wait a minute. Hang on a second. Jill. Hi. Can you hear Hi, me? Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. How are you? Hey, Donna. I'm good. Hi. Can you not hear any of us? Me, Jill. <laughs> no. <laughs> We really need Jill. <laughs> like, <laughs> Are you telling me to go out? I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> okay, let me call her. Let me call it's her. something on her ear. Okay, I got it. Now, can you all hear me? Yeah. Yes. Can you hear us? Okay. I, can, I don't know what happened. My settings got changed. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> all right, no worries. All right. I'm going to go ahead and call the meeting to uh, the special meeting of the City of Charlestown Redevelopment Commission to order at 6 o'clock p.m. on October 19th. Um, I'll have the row call. Here. John Spencer. Derek Combs. Here. Wynn Moser. Was Gwen here? Did she? Did I hear something? I didn't hear anything. Okay. BJ Steele. Absent. Let the record reflect that Donna Ennis is present, as well as Jill Sagazer representing the Wheatley Group and Donna Coomer. Um, so we do have a quorum. Do we have any public comment? No one has signed up for public comment. We don't have any old business. So the new business for the meeting, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this over to Jill and let her discuss the Okra Small Business Grant Program. Thank you, Donna. And I'm gonna to try to share this screen. I'll make it a little bit bigger here. You guys see that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm catching it down just a little bit. Okay, great. So um, just to give you a, a quick overview of the program, as you're aware, uh, Okra gave the city uh, $250,000 for to give out to to businesses uh, that met certain criteria. Uh, the maximum grant is $10,000 each. Uh, so we launched that program and set in somewhere in person at City Hall to try to go over all the application documents. Uh, last week, the committee committee got together and we reviewed uh, 11, three, four, five, uh, we've received right now a total of 14 to my knowledge as of today, but um, 
or excuse me, 13, 11 of those were received before the selection committee met. So um, the selection committee met and I have verified as part of what my uh, role is in the process, getting all the documentation together that the state will need and that you as a redevelopment commission would need and selection committee would need to determine if the applicants were actually eligible. Those eligibility criteria consist of, number one, is it physically located in the city of Charlestown? Um, number two, do they meet the low mod requirements? And that can be twofold. If it's a one person business, like on the screen, Absolutely You Salon uh, is a one person business, it's an owner occupied, then they had to qualify on their own. Whereas say the Charlestown Pizza Company, uh, Cobblestone Hotel, uh, those two, uh, if they weren't 51% low mod, at least, you know, if at least 51% of those 17 employees combined were low mod, then they could qualify. So uh, verify that all qualify. We have all the justification that we need from them to be able to submit it to the state uh, so that we can get this processed. So um, I don't know if any selection committee members have anything that they'd like to say about any of these uh, but all of these qualify, and right now you have before you 11 applications, which comprise 35 jobs for $105,000. Thank you, Jill. So this this was a great program for Charlestown. We have a lot of small businesses in town, and frankly, I'm I'm so glad that we had some money available that we could help our small businesses in Charlestown because COVID has taken its toll on a lot of small businesses. Um, so I, I'm, I'm just pleased that we were able to go through and grant everyone who, who applied the money that they were seeking. So I, it's a great program. And um, I was just very, very, very pleased that we had money available to help these small businesses that are struggling right now. And John was also on the selection committee, so. <laughs> Thank you, John, and thank you, Jill, and uh, Ruthie Jackson was also on the selection committee representing the council, so everybody was very pleased, and the mayor, sorry, <laughs> and the mayor, the mayor was also on the selection committee, um, so we were just thrilled. Did I lose you all? No, we're still here. I'm still here. Can you guys see me? <laughs> I can see Donna. I'm there. Fine. Uh oh. I think the time is all. I think you got set for two hours and fifty one minutes. She's coming back now. I think. Okay. Can you all see all right. me and hear me? <laughs> yes, I can hear you. I have no idea what happened. My screen went completely black and I was like, uh, did I lose you? And then I could hear you and then it was gone. So, um, but yes, we are very pleased to do this for our small businesses. And I believe this is the first round since we still have money available. I would encourage um, the other small businesses in town that didn't ha or haven't taking the opportunity to apply, I would still encourage them to apply because we do have money left available. And Jill, um, did you want to speak to any of that? There is a second round. Sure. Um, so um, if you approve this slate, and I think BJ's coming on here too, uh, Donna, but if you, okay. approve, if you approve this slate, then you still have, the city will have $145,000 still to grant. And again, the maximum per business is $10,000. So we have received two additional applications. Um, and I know after our selection committee meeting last week that there's some follow-up, number one, that I need to do. But I know that uh, Ruthie and some others on the selection committee were going to reach out to some of those businesses. Something that I'll tell you as a group is I have sat down with three of these and helped them fill out their application. Uh, two of them were language barriers. The other was more of a technology barrier. But if there's anybody there that um, you want to 
uh, to apply for this money and they're afraid of the process, just let me know and I'll make an appointment and take care of that. So if you approve these, we will have a next round. I'm hoping we can get applications in by the end of this month, if not before, so that we can meet and get this money out as soon as possible to help these businesses. Did DJ come on? I haven't seen him. Well, I thought he, uh, I'm gonna stop sharing this for a second so I can see everything. Yeah, BJ's on, I'm aren't you? I think he's just muted, or at least I see something that says BJ. Oh, I, hi, BJ. Okay, oh. I can see him. <laughs> or I see his screen. Okay, perfect. So BJ, just for the record, let, let it be known that BJ still is now present. Okay, BJ, did you have any questions about the funding for the COVID grant for the Oak Ridge uh, Small Business? No, I, 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 what she kind of just covered, the, Jill just covered that a little bit. I was just wondering, you know, is that all that we've received? And uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that, um, you know, it, that people are aware and that they can, you know, we want to help them. This. And I think, BJ, the, the next, one of the next steps is that I think some people applied in the portal that was running before the applications where they felt like put their name in to give us their contact information. And so the next step is to follow up with them. And I need to make sure with Leah and I'm going to talk with her tomorrow that I have the most recent information from anybody that's gone to the portal and thought that that was applying for the grant instead of actually filling out the application. So we are running those down that showed interest to try to make sure that they get a chance to apply. Um, for that next round. I've got a question. Who do they need to contact if they are interested? Uh, I, we prepared something or the mayor had asked to prepare something. Uh, and so there will be some type of media release going out, you know, depending on what you do here tonight that says they can look on the, the city. I think it's on the, I want to say it's on the Facebook page or the website. Uh, so they can get information from that or that also has my contact information so they can just call me if they want. If they happen to call the mayor's office, then they'll direct them to me also. Okay. Do we know what the deadline is going to be for that second round yet or not determined yet? I'd say the deadline, not to speak for anybody else, but the deadline will be probably as soon as possible just because I think once we get enough applications to have that second round, that second round will probably be it. You know, if we can get another four or another 12 applications, depending on how many they, they, uh, how much money they ask for, then I'd say when the, when we have enough for that, then it's gone. So I would say they need to get it in as soon as possible. And I'd probably by the end of the month, but we may have applications enough by the time we start beating the, beating the streets that we may have enough to, to get together before then. Okay. So the first thing we need to do tonight, I know uh, that's Madam President, is to make a motion and to vote on this, these, uh, this slate currently, right? Yes, and I was getting ready to say, I entertain a motion. Are you making that motion, John? I make that motion, Madam President. <laughs> All right, thank you. So I have a motion on the floor by John to approve the funding for, um, the first round. Is there a second? I'll second. And a second by Derek Combs. Any discussion? All right, hearing none, I'll take the roll call vote. Yay. John Spencer? Derek Combs? Yes. BJ Steele? Yeah. All right. Motion carries unanimously. So our first round of funding is approved for $105,000 going to our small businesses. So yay. Thank you, Mayor and Jill, for getting all of that um, together. And we appreciate you all. So Donna, do you want to and establish a deadline uh, for this next round? Yeah, I actually think we should do that because I know that there is a deadline that we have to award that next round. Is that correct, Jill? There's a deadline for your first round, which is Friday. We have to have all this stuff in by Friday. Your second round actually isn't, the deadline's like May of next year. Oh, okay. So. 
Okay. But you, I mean, the intent is to get the money out the door as soon as possible to help those businesses that are struggling. So I think we need to, you know, push to get that I'm out. As soon as how long? Go ahead. Sorry, Donna. I was just saying, somebody suggested at the end of the month, I think the 31st would be an acceptable deadline. That's what, 10, 10 days away? And if we need, if we don't have enough by then, we can extend it and ask for more applications. I mean, you have that, that um, ability to do that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, make the deadline. We'll make it on a Friday, so make it on a business day because the 31st is a Saturday. So we'll uh, make the deadline four o'clock on the 30th for the second round. Is that okay, Jill? Yeah, that's good. That's fine with me. Okay, so we'll make sure that we get that out um and advertised and let folks know the second round of funding will close on the 30th october 30th all right is there any more discussion any other items that anybody would like to discuss oh donna um we were going to talk about the change in the date of the redevelopment meeting because it falls on election day did we do that no, and I was, um, that was, I was seeing if anybody had any discussion. That was the last item that I was going to bring up. Okay. Um, so we do need to change the date because City Hall is closed on Election Day. And so I had sent an email out and I think pretty much everyone responded. I didn't hear back from Jill and I didn't hear, or not Jill, um, Gwen, sorry, Gwen Moser. And I didn't hear back from BJ, but Everybody is pretty much in consensus for November 4th, which is the next day, the very next day, Wednesday at six o'clock. Are you okay with that time, BJ? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And um, so that will be, no, but we're gonna move it from the third to the fourth, November 4th at 6 p.m. It will, uh, with COVID and all of the spikes that are going on right now, we're gonna continue this meeting as a Zoom meeting and continue hosting this meeting the way that we are for next month. So um, hopefully that'll help with scheduling and you know changing the date. And then I'll reach out to Gwen and just let her know that we changed it and changed the date because of the election day. So, all right, anything else? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. I'm not gonna move. I'm <laughs> John makes a motion. BJ seconds. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. See you guys on the fourth. Thank you. Thanks, Don. All right. Thank you. Bye. 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 -bye.